So these are the international regulations for preventing collisions at sea. Now these are basically just rules and regulations for preventing collisions at sea. Now as a deck officer, it's very important that you know these rules inside out. Now that doesn't necessarily mean to memorize them word for word, although sometimes it means knowing them more or less word for word and really understanding them. That's the most important part. So in this video, I'm just gonna be going through rule 19, which is conduct of vessels in restricted visibility. Now this is quite an important rule um, because it's quite different to the others. It's all about vessels not inside of one another. So I'm gonna memorize it in this video, see if I can do it in one go. Um, even though it's not totally necessary, it's more important just to really understand it. But if I go over it a hundred times, um, I think I'll have a better understanding of it as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into this and just start learning it. Hopefully I can memorize it quickly. So while I'm memorizing it, I'll just give you a quick summary on what the rule is all about. So basically restricted visibility just includes the likes of fog, mist, snow, heavy rain, and even sandstorms. Basically just any situation where you can't see the other ship or its navigational lights. So the rules are a bit different than in restricted visibility. So there's no stand on vessel and there's no giveaway vessel. So every vessel must take action and every vessel must proceed at a safe speed. So hopefully you can hear it when I'm talking, but the rule is a bit wordy, so brace yourselves. Well, that took a while, but uh, I think I finally know it. So now comes the test. Whether I fully know it off by heart, uh, I'm gonna blindfold myself. And so hopefully I can do this first try. So let's go. This gone, out of here. Make sure this is tight. <laughs> I can't see anything. Okay, rule 19, conduct of vessels in restricted visibility. This rule applies to vessels not inside of one another when navigating in or near an area of restricted visibility. Every vessel shall proceed at a safe speed adapted to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility. A power driven vessel shall have her engines ready for immediate maneuver. Every vessel shall have due regard to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility when complying with the rules of section one of this part. A vessel which detects by radar alone the presence of another vessel shall determine if a close quarter situation is developing and or risk of collision exists. If so, she shall take avoiding action in ample time, provided that if such action consists of an alteration of course, so far as possible, the following shall be avoided. Number one an alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken. And number two, an alteration of course towards a vessel, a beam or a the beam. Except where a vessel has determined if risk of collision does not exist, every vessel that hears apparently forward of a beam the fog signal of another vessel or which cannot avoid a close quarter situation with another vessel forward of a beam shall reduce her speed to the minimum at which she can be kept on her course. She shall, if necessary, take all her way off and in any event, navigate with extreme caution until danger of collision is over. Oh, snap, I did it. That's rule 19, memorized in one go. See you next time. Goodbye.